This is spectrometry of simple molecules by Keith Howells. You have a semi truck in front of you, the weather's bad, it slides on ice, it ends up going out of control and tips, and on the liquid happens to spill out of the truck and into the environment. This liquid can possibly spill into the water supply and go into the surrounding environment. You need to know if this liquid happens to be flammable, what the environmental hazards are, and if it's toxic to human, especially if it gets into the water source. The purpose of this experiment was to determine what this unknown liquid was that happened to go into the environment after it spilled out of the semi-truck. We were able to uh, use a sample of the water and we used MNR and iris spectra to help determine what was in it. The MNR is a nuclear magnetic resonance and that helps determine what types of hydrogen atoms are present in the molecule and the relative group of each type of hydrogen atom that happens to be there. The IR or infrared is used to identify the different types of functional groups that are, are present in the compound. Using the IR and MNR predictions were made after a small sample was tested by the IR to find the functional groups and the MNR to find the hydrogen groups. We were able to compact both of those together, use the ratios and the peaks along with the predictions that we made to help determine what this on end substance was. Uh, before that, a table was formed showing the different functional groups that are present in different molecules from the IR spectrum, where it can have oxygen hydrogen bonds, carbon hydrogen benzene ring, carbon hydrogen singly bonded, carbon double bonded to oxygen, carbon bonded with chlorine, or carbon bonded with bromine. And then using the MNR spectra, we were able to determine the number of ratios that each molecule has and the number of peaks that's present after. That way we can help narrow down what the possible types were. A range of absorbances were used that are shown right here. From the functional groups that are listed, anywhere from oxygen to the hydrogen bonded to carbon to bromine bonded, the absorbance ranges from anywhere from 3,500 to 550 were shown and grouped to help find out what type of uh, functional group was present in our un unknown. My unknown that was spilled into the environment was unknown number 84.2. We used the IR or infrared to help find that there is oxygen bonded with hydrogen carbon bonded with hydrogen, singly bonded, and carbon bonded with chlorine, which are circled with the, the red circles as they were found on the IR spectra. We use the MNR, and from the MNR it was found that it has three peaks. Those three peaks are highlighted with the red circle. It has a ratio of one, two, three, where the one closest to me is the two, the middle is one, and the value of the, the furthest for me is three. From the three peaks, the one, two, three ratio in the functional groups that were found, we could help narrow down to two possible molecules that were, uh, were in the water. Th those could either be ethanol or ethyl formate. And once we looked further into the functional groups and saw which ones had the peaks and ratio. It was determined that unknown number 84.2 was ethanol that was present in the water. And if ethanol spills into the environment, it can cause many problems. According to the American Enterprise Institute, if a large quality of ethanol spills into the water, it can cause the water to become deoxygenized and possibly kill off large quantities of uh, life in the water where it's shown in the picture, which could happen, is a large quantity of fish could die from lack of oxygen. And if it's also spit into the environment, it's very flammable. 
So even if the truck spilled, it happened to spark, it could cause a, a fire, and if it's a dry season, possibly a horrible wildfire. If you end up consuming the ethanol that's in the water, or even if it's in the form of alcohol, according to the NH NIAAA, ethanol can cause impaired coordination, liver damage, pancreas damage, cirrhosis, and immune problems. Overall, the use of IR and MNR are very helpful to find out exactly what is in our environment and what we are drinking in our water. It's important to know the health issues that can come along with it, and if we know what they are, you can help overall, you can overall help the environmental impact in your health.